عبادك الأيام فتا وتنح بل نقذف بالحق على الباطل فيدمغه فإذا هو زاهق ولكم الويل مما تصفون But this is a layman who's walking on the street today. Imam Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, who these people greatly respect. He has mentioned in his Al-Fatwa Al-Hamwayat Al-Kubra, page 79, that Allahu ma'ana haqiqatan wa fawq al-arshi haqiqatan. This is the side title, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us literally. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us literally, and he is on the arsh literally. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا والنبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد You've all had the point Brother Muhammad Yasir Hadahu Allah has put forward He has quoted from Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah's Majmu'a Al-Fatawa and this matter, or that statement he quoted from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, it's in his Fatawa al-Hamawiyyah, al-Kubra, in which Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Allahu ma'ana haqiqa wa fawq al-arshi haqiqa. Now, before I explain this point, I want to talk about a matter which is very important. And that is the evil trait that it has to lack the ability to understand. It's a problem when you have su'ul fahm. And because of your bad understanding, you uh, attribute to the person who you're criticizing uh, evil to them. Because you're lacking bad understanding. Uh, you're lacking understanding what they're saying. And the poet said, based on that, he said, وَكَمْ مِنْ عَائِبٍ قَوْلًا صَحِيحًا وَآفَتُهُ مِنَ الْفَهْمِ السَّقِيمِ How many people who blame others for a statement which they were correct in? And the reason why you're blaming him for this statement, it only is due to your, your bad understanding. And another poet, he said, الْحَقُّ يُنْكِرُهُ الْجَهُولُ لِأَنَّهُ عدم التصور فيه والتصديق فهو العدو لكل ما هو جاهل فإذا فإذا تصوره يعود صديقا. Every person who is ignorant, he rejects the truth because of his ignorance of it. And the fact that he lacks the ability to comprehend, to perceive the matter the way it is, so he becomes an enemy because of it. He becomes, he takes it as an enemy. But if he was to understand it very well, and he was to perceive it properly, he would have befriended it. And I see this in our brother Muhammad Yasir. He doesn't understand Ibn Taymiyyah. He either lies about Ibn Taymiyyah, or he has lack of understanding of Ibn Taymiyyah's words, and his speeches. And the hate that he has for Ibn Taymiyyah comes because of one of those two. Our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was walking one day with his wife, Safiya bin Tuhuyay, his wife. And as he was walking with, with his wife, Safiya, and it was night time, two of his noble companions, they started to walk a bit fast when they saw the Prophet with Safiya. But they didn't know that this woman was Safiya. They didn't know. So, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he caught up with them and he said to them, Ala rislikuma, calm down, calm down. Walk slow. Inna Safiya, the woman I'm with is Safiya, my wife. And these two companions, they didn't even think that the Prophet was walking with another woman. Because they always thought the best of him, alayhi salatu wasalam. So they told the Prophet, O oh, Messenger of Allah, we didn't think bad of you. The Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, he told them, 
He said to them, وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ بَأْشَيْطَانَ يَجْرِي مِنْ إِبْنُ آدَمِ مَجَرَ الدَّمْ The shaytan flows in the human being where the blood flows in the vein. So he said, I feared for you. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that shows us what? That the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was fighting against this concept of what? Su'ul fahm. Having bad understanding. And Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah he mentions the blessings of Allah that he blesses with on his creation. And he says, from the one of the greatest blessings is Nurun a light. Yaqdifuhu Allahu fi qulub al abdi. Yumayyizu bain al sahih wal fasidi. Wal haqi wal batili. Wal huda wal dalal. Wal ghayy wal rashad. He said, from the greatest blessing that Allah blesses a person with is what? A, a nur in which Allah places in a person's heart. With that nur, the person is able to distinguish. He can distinguish between. He can distinguish between that which is correct and that which is wrong. That which is the truth. That which is falsehood. That which is guidance. From that which is misguidance. That which is prosperity and good and that which is destruction and corruption. This is a blessing from Allah. Not everybody has it. Now let's go back to what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said. And then look at what uh, our brother Muhammad Yasir tried to portray that Ibn Taymiyyah was trying to say. And, I, and it amazes me, brothers, wallahi. Is there not amongst the crowd who are listening to Muhammad Yasir? Is there not amongst you an intellectual person? In one of his videos, he says that amongst, the, when he was talking to the crowd, he said that amongst you is those who study Qiraat. Because he was quoting uh, Abu Haq uh, Abu Haq Al-Shatibi's book, he had it with his, on his hand, Al-I'tisab. And then he said to the people who were listening to him, Amongst you are those who study uh, Qiraat. And Abu Haq Al-Shatibi, uh, you must know him, he's the great Qari. When in reality, it wasn't even him. So is there not amongst the crowd who are listening to him, a person who understands what this brother is saying is incorrect? Now let's go back to what Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah is saying, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. Ibn Taymiyyah says, Allah is with us haqiqatan. Literally, Allah is with us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is above his throne, literally. There are many ways I can answer that and explain it, but I'm only going to take one. I'm only going to take one. We have, walillahi mathalul a'la. Allah has a higher example, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are not comparing Allah to his creation whatsoever. But as they say, وَبِالْمِثَالِ يَتَضْحُ الْمَقَالِ With an example, matters become clear. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is above His throne. Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And He's with His creation. How does that work? We have the moon today. When we're walking, the moon is above us. And we're walking. And the Arabs, they say, whilst they're walking and the moon is with us, we haven't remained walking except the moon is still with us. Where is the moon? The moon is high above. And it's with us. Because the moon, wherever you go, it's always with you. Allah is above his throne. And he's with his creation. So the ulu la tunaqidhu al Allah being above his throne does not go against that he's with his creation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what Ibn Taymiyyah meant when he explained it. That every characteristics of Allah should be taken in its haqiqa, in, his, in its reality. And inshallah ta'ala, I will conclude there. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. What is the problem if a scholar does a mistake? What does that show us? That he's a human being. And there are people who are going to come. And...